What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. Good morning from Accra, Ghana. I have a little bit of a sore throat. Uh, super exciting. Last night, Bitcoin finally broke out. The most important breakout we've seen in over four months. Currently, we're sitting at 47K. Can you believe it? <laughs> Pretty exciting. Uh, sorry about the wind. I think there's some strong winds outside today. If you guys can hear that. So we're sitting at 47,410. We're up 6% on the day. Holy. <laughs> now, it would be healthy to see some pullback here. We'll get into that. We've been making some juicy profits on our altcoin trades. I'll show you guys at the end of the video. Uh, so we're sitting at a market cap of 896 billion. 24 hour volume, 36.81 billion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to crypto.com, you can sign up to the world's fastest growing crypto app and grab one of the incredible Visa cards for cashback and crypto, free Spotify, Netflix, Prime, Travel Incentives, $25. Just for signing up through my referral. Let's hop straight into it. We're here on the four hour time frame. So we had a clear breakout. We smashed through 44.6 and we're even above 46K. See the support in this area? Support here. There is still quite a bit of resistance that we're hitting in that area. So we could definitely see a little bit of pullback here. Would be healthy. It would be what I would like to see is some pullback or consolidation. You can see we're extremely overbought on the RSI as well as the money flow. Early sign of a move back down. If we look at the hourly time frame, look at how overbought we are. So we either need to see that consolidation or a back test. Would be healthy. If I pop over to the daily time frame. You can see we're starting to break away from the EMAs. So it would be really, really healthy for Bitcoin to see a back test, to see a little bit of pullback. Now, anything can happen. Allow the EMAs to catch back up to the candles, have the back test of 44.6, and boom, bounce up towards 56.9K, the technical target of this ascending triangle. You can see, look on the daily, look at the money flow on the daily. The last time the money flow was this high was around this area. Now, you see what can happen here. Look at this, guys. See how the money flow is high? the rsi is overbought and we continue to pump up that's why i never say well it's going to move back down no it can consolidate or it can just keep going and it can stay overbought for quite some time but it is an early indicator that things either need to cool off with some consolidation or have a back test have a move back down come back down to the emas and then see continuation back to the upside if we pop over to our next chart guys i talked about us coming up and breaking 42.5 higher likelihood you come up to 44k you break above the 1.272 boom all the way up to the 1.618 and we absolutely blasted through it so your next target here would be the two extension coming in at about 48.2k we had this rising wedge pattern which was invalidated the bulls are looking really really strong here but now that we're quite overbought what we want to see is some pullback at least back down to the 1.618 would be perfectly healthy come back down hold as support boom see continuation or come back down to that 44k level find support boom see continuation up to the two extension if we simply consolidate here maybe we create a little bit of a bull flag and we see continuation what you can do here we are quite overbought what you can do here is measure your flag pull take it to your point of breakout and could take bitcoin all the way up to the 2.272 extension at 49.9k so if you do see it start to push up volume starts to step in that would be your technical target would be healthier in my opinion to see a little bit of pullback i do hope that's what happens here as we are quite over Bought. but beautiful to see that breakout we met the technical target of this double bottom we just had the bullish cross massive sign of strength last time we had the bullish cross right here massive pump in the summertime bullish cross massive pump back to the upside we just had the bullish cross but check out that money flow it's really really high so it would be really healthy to come back down find support along the emas before seeing continuation as i had mentioned with the bitcoin long positions let me quickly pop it open i said look guys when we start to break out of 44 points 6k let me grab that chart i was predicting that the long positions would start to take profits and that is exactly what is happening here i talked about that bearish divergence we're creating higher highs lower highs and you can see the longs are starting to take their profits now a really bullish signal is the shorts are not increasing of course this can happen really quickly the shorts can start to spike but the fact that the shorts are not increasing is a very strong bullish sign the whales and institutional investors are not trying to push the price of bitcoin down right now so i do think the likely scenario here is either some consolidation 
or seeing the back test of the previous resistance of the ascending triangle and then seeing continuation back to the upside. I don't think that bull trap is likely because we're not seeing that increase in short positions. I think it's more likely we, we consolidate and see continuation or we see that pullback to the EMAs, we bounce and we head up towards this technical target of 56.9K. We had an absolutely beautiful close yesterday on the weekly time frame. We closed above the 55 EMA, the 20 EMA, the 50 week moving average and the 20 week moving average average we close above all those moving averages which is extremely bullish we've just printed the bullish cross on the macd and the oscillators have just turned green the last time this happened was the beginning of august right when we started to break out as you can see right here the end of july heading into august we had the bullish cross of the macd huge breakout back to the upside once again we've had the bullish cross the oscillators are turning green so we could definitely see a massive breakout to the upside as i've been mentioning for weeks now our cm williams highlighter that flashes green when it thinks Bitcoin has bottomed has been extremely accurate since the bear market of 2017 going into 2018. It flashed green. I said, look guys, the bottom may be in. The money flow is all the way back down to the bottom sections. That's usually when we see money start to flow back into Bitcoin, just as we did right here. Massive push to the upside. The CM Williams highlighter flashed green. We saw a huge push. So now we're back above our moving averages. So if we can stay above them, if we can hold above about 46K, that would be a massive sign of of strength in my opinion it's looking really good guys we broke out of our ascending triangle we're back above our moving averages now what we need to pay attention to if we see that continuation to the upside is the possible dead cat bounce scenario in between about 55 to 60k in my opinion that will be our next major test to see if we're going to break out and head up to new all-time highs or we're going to go through that dead cat bounce and have a prolonged bear market but as i've been mentioning we're waiting for that third demand wave and our fifth impulsive wave with our elliott wave theory that could take us up to these price targets here. Let me just quickly adjust and looks like they got knocked off here. Fibonacci is pulled correctly. So we have the 1.618 coming in at 111K. We have the two extension at about 144K and the 2.272 is coming in at about 180,000 with our Fibonacci pull from the previous all-time high down to the swing low. So that's basically it for BTC in the short term. I would love to see some pullback to see a back test of 44.6K or to simply consolidate above 46K and allow the EMAs to catch back up to the candle. Basically what we wanna see here is what we saw over the summertime. We broke out, we came back, we back tested the EMAs, boom, huge breakout. So we've broken out, so I would love to see a back test of the EMAs and see that huge breakout. If we do see continuation, I think your next major level of resistance would come in right around 50k right around this level here and then we come back down for the back test of the emas and see continuation up to 46.9k now the bearish scenario which i do think is less likely due to the fact that we're not seeing a huge increase in short positions and we have some massive bullish signals on the weekly time frame but the bearish scenario is that this would be a huge fake out and we simply fall back into the pattern we lose the emas and we come back down to this ascending trend line from our ascending triangle pattern. But as of right now, we've broken out. We are in a technical target to 56.9K. We are overbought on the daily, the four hour and the one hour. So I would expect to see a little bit of pullback would be healthy or can some, some consolidation. Because as I always mention, the harder you pump, the harder the correction. So what we wanna see is a little bit of pullback consolidation, allow the EMAs to catch back up to the candles before seeing continuation up to 56.9K. Shout out to the Discord. Let me quickly open the DCA charts. So we just closed 75% of our XRP trade for a 10% profit. VET, we closed 75%, 16% profit. We took some more profits on our MANA trade up 11%. And our ADA trade, our first exit was for a 7% profit. And I just took a little bit more profits off my trade here for ADA. Uh, let me quickly open it up here. Let's look at ADA, see our live trade on the channel here. All right, so it's right here. So our entry was at 111. Yeah, so we're up about 7% on our trade. And we had just made an ADA trade just a couple days ago here. Yeah, just the other day, we made an 11% profit with our DCA trade strategy with ADA. So we just made profits on ADA, MANA, VET, XRP. So if you'd like to trade with us, it's the price of a coffee, 350 USD. You really can't beat it. We have the DCA trade strategy fully explained, the DCA charts for the live trades on the channel and buy and take profit zones. 
based off support resistance Fibonacci if you want to start dollar cost averaging into your positions and you can trade with us with the DCA charts which are the live trades on the channel we also have over 1800 members posting chart patterns talking all things crypto day traders swing traders investors so if you're looking for a community you really can't beat it 350 USD if you want to trade with me sign up to Bybit and I'll see you in the next video all right much love take care